All right, going through uh, my amp collection and figuring out what I'm gonna take out on this next run. And I ran across an ad uh, in the uh, latest version of Guitar Player that had a, a cool amp uh, that I just got in and I'm beta testing it. Um, and uh, here's what it sounds like. I'll use two guitars, a uh, uh, Bill Nash 69 Strat and a 92 Gibson ES-137. Um, those are typically what I take out on the road with me, and it kind of covers the whole spectrum of tones that, that I do. Um, and I'll play the same stuff on both guitars so you can hear that the, the amp really does a good job of uh, keeping the characteristics of the, of the guitar in its sound. Sometimes they get covered up and get lost, and all the guitars just kind of sound the same, you know. Um, start off with... Uh, <laughs> type thing does that and then uh the channel over uh, then uh... And here's where I was really sold because a lot of times when you when you go to the different channel when they're sharing the same EQ uh, the EQ radically changes and here it's just a little bit more drive um, which is what I've always wanted out of a channel switching amp um, so <laughs> The, the, the drive. But the EQ sound is the same. It's it's not any more low end. It's not a whole bunch of mid range or lacking mid range or real trebly or or dull. It's the same EQ. With, with just more drive, which I think they nail perfectly. Back to the clean. So that, that's pretty cool on that. And then if we, if we put the, uh, the hollow body, a true hollow body. Um, these, these guitars are true hollow bodies, so there's, uh, there's no... There's no block of wood underneath uh, the pickups. They're they're literally suspended, um, and so you really get a a more three dimensional sound out of it. And on the clean, it's going to sound like this. And the cool thing about that is, is that it's just. Got this fuller sound, which is what this guitar sounds like compared to a, a solid body strat. You know, the solid body strats, um, very punctual and very chimey, um, and cuts like a knife. And these things are a little mellower. And they, 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 if you play just a single note, it's 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 a little darker, um, but it's 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 fuller sounding. And if I did like a country, the same country lick. To the you know your Stevie type stuff. The response pretty good to that, and then again if we go over to the channel switching on that. Clean. And this guitar. 
guitar is a little hotter, so. So um, that's uh, that's and I haven't they they all sound pretty pretty legit to me and what this amp really is is this guy right here. So the clean channel is a yellow setting and then it's the same amp model with just a hotter setting to it and then you've got a boost feature that you can put on either channel um, and it's got. Uh, your delay built into it, your reverb and all that stuff that you want. And you get to those things um, by simply plugging it into the computer and doing a little interface. And it's real simple. It's it's I mean, I'm a I'm you know, I'm I'm an old guard kind of guitar player, I've been doing this for shit like 30 years. Uh, so the computer based stuff has always been a nightmare to me. I like the concept because I want to get rid of amps because my back fucking hurts and uh, I'm tired of dragging the damn things around. And there's just an inconvenience to them, really. Um, and uh, the guys at Atomic, um, phenomenal customer support. The, the very first five minutes I pulled this out of the box, I was already pissed at it and ready to, to send it back because I didn't really understand the workflow on it. Um, and I got a little lost and I thought there was only three amp sounds in there and none of those three worked for me. And I found that uh, amp setting six, I think, um, is what really worked for me. Um, and then as I got into it, I was like, ah, shit, I need to, I need to call these guys and figure out, you know, how to run this thing. Um, and there was no phone number for them, so I emailed them, and I was like, ah, shit, they're not going to get back to me till, fuck, I'm already out on the road, and this isn't going to do me any good. And uh, the cat named Jace, who actually put all the sounds in this thing, um, called me up like in four minutes flat, and uh, he's been helping me uh, for the last couple of days uh, just get my head around this thing. And the best way to describe this unit is that it's basically a replacement for, for an amp. Um, it's got nine different amp models, I think, in it uh, that, you can, uh, that you can choose from right with the pedal. You don't need the interface. The, inter the, the amp interface, uh, excuse me, the, the pedal interface on the computer is, is really strictly used uh, to set up your, your compression and your gate and your EQ and your delay and your reverb and what kind of cabinet you want. Um, you can't get to any of those features on the pedal itself. Uh, you have to get to them in the computer, but you, you simply plug the pedal into your computer, it sees it automatically and it pops up. There's no chasing down fucking firmware and, and, and apps and all this bullshit and, and lost in a sea of shit that you can't decipher. It's really intuitive, um, and that's what sold me on it. Um, but the main thing that, that I, I discovered on this thing, which is fine for me, is it really only is designed to replace one single amp. Um, so, for example, you can't store presets in this, right? You can't store presets in this. So if I wanted to uh, go to my initial concept was go into uh, each amp model and dial it into a sound that I would use, um, you, you can't do that. It doesn't save any of that bullshit. It doesn't. Um, because the knobs are live and that's what's now that's also the cool point about it because if you quickly want to turn up the gain on your amp well you turn up the gain on that and it reacts just like an amp does it's instantly in your hands instant gratification you want to fix a bass you want to fix mid the treble you know all the shit that's on an amp it's instantly at your hands which the Kemper doesn't do that the Axe FX sure as fuck don't do that um, and it's it's designed more for the guys that that are that are players that aren't going to sit there and dick with algorithms and whatever the hell all that computer bullshit. I mean, it was ridiculous, man. The Axe Effect unit was like you could change supposedly, you know, the type of resistors that were in the circuit. Who the fuck is doing that? I'm not doing that shit. I'm going out. I'm playing gigs. I'm getting paid. That's what my job is. Um, so. I want to thank the guys at Atomic. Um, I'm gonna go live with it. It'll be in uh, it'll be in Nebraska tomorrow night on stage. Um, I'll have a fake amp on stage to throw people off, and then I'm just gonna use this solely and see how it goes. Um, and uh, 
and yeah, that'll be the true test. I've ran it through every scenario I can think of here at the house. Um, I ran it into uh, one of my uh, effects loops on, on one of my combos to, um, and bypass, you know, the preamp circuit, because that's what you got to do. You don't want to run this in, in front of a guitar amp. You want to use it, if you're going to run it into your guitar amp, you need to go through the effects loop and bypass the preamp, because you can't put a preamp on a preamp. Um, so I was listening to that, and then I did the XLR out of it, uh, straight into a powered monitor, um, and and it was the same sound. There was there was no difference. The only difference that existed was the fact that I'm listening to to two tens on an open back cabinet compared to a, a powered wedge um, that's a twelve and a tweeter and it's sealed. Uh, so you could hear the two tens and their characteristics and a little bit more boominess of the cabinet, uh, but that's inherent within the cabinet. The sound transferred identical. The feel sounded the same. It was. It was, it was a really good job. Uh, then I ran the main out uh, into one of our mains, uh, uh, a Mackie uh, HD 153 um, high definition, three-way powered speaker. Um, and it, it, it was killer there, it didn't change. Um, and then I did the, the in-ear test with my in-ear monitors and it was the same there. Um, so it survived all those tests enough to take it out live, but the true test is really, does it work live? Um, on on stage and we'll, we'll find out tomorrow and I'll, and I'll chime in but uh, if, if they do pull this off it will be an absolute miracle and my back will be very very thankful and uh, and I'll have to give them two thumbs up at Atomic instead of just one for now so we'll chime in tomorrow and see how sound check goes and uh, and go from there thanks bye